Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yeah! Hey, you guys. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this evening. So I have another podcast for you all here. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Snoop Dogg, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion and Offset drama. OK, so if you guys do not know, it went down the other day, honey. Snoop Dogg did an interview and I guess he calls himself giving grandpa advice or some shit, honey. So he did an interview and the interviewer decided to ask, you know, Snoop for, for some dog fatherly advice. And so they asked him what he thought about the WAP video, what he thought about the song WAP in general. And Snoop had a lot to say, honey. So y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. WAP. Oh, my God. <laughs> slow down. Like, slow down. Slow okay. Down. And let's have some imagination. Let's have some, you know, some privacy, some intimacy where he wants to find out as opposed to you telling him. To me, it's like it's, it's, it's too fashionable. When that is secrecy, that should be a woman's. That's like your, your, your pride and possession. That's your, your jewel of the now. That's what you should hold on to. That should be a, a, a possession that no one gets to know about until they know about it. So I'm, I would imagine you have conversations like this with your daughter. But my daughter is from a different era, though. She's from this era, so she may be doing the WAP, or, you know what I'm saying, a, a part of the WAP. And I can't be mad at her because it's her generation, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> at the same time, it's like the things that I would rather see, you know, because I'm an older man. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was young, 21, 22, I may have been with the movement. I probably would have been on a remix. But as an older man, it's like I love it. That they're expressing themselves and they're doing their thing. I just don't want it that fashionable to where young girls feel like they can express themselves like that without even knowing that that is a jewel that they hold on to mm -hmm. until the right person comes around. Oh, they don't say power of the P for nothing now. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys just heard what Snoop had to say. So a lot of people were not feeling that at all. They're like, okay, um, we get, you know, the message that you're trying to state, but you're definitely the wrong messenger. So a lot of folks were dragging him. Folks were not here for Snoop Dogg and his fatherly advice. So TMZ ran into Offset, and they wanted to get Offset's opinion of everything as well. So y'all go ahead and check out what Offset had to say. What is your reaction to Snoop saying Cardi should slow down when discussing her privates. Who said that? Snoop Dogg. I love Snoop, man. Uh, she grown. I don't get in female business, so I'ma just stay, stay at that. Like, I hate when men do that. Cause yeah. I don't do that. I don't care if a girl would've said something bad about me. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get in female business. I'm grown. I'm from the South, though. So maybe the rules and the laws is different. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? It's entertainment, you know what I'm saying? That's the number one record. So. Anybody can say what they want to do and say what they want to say. It's six time platinum in three, four months. It's the number one record. And it wasn't that bad because uh, it went number one. Right. You know what I'm saying? As rappers, we talk about the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So it's like. We should be able to talk about our WAPs if we want. Especially for woman empowerment. It's too. Especially for men can't speak on women. They're too powerful, first off. And it's a lot of woman empowerment. Like, don't shoot it down. We never had this many artists as female artists running this shit. They catching up to us, like passing us and setting records. And you know what I'm saying? That's two women on one record. That's a very successful record. I really fuck with Snoop, like on a personal level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I could personally call him and be like, Snoop, come on now. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm dissing that shit. Snoop, that's my boy. But at the same time, I say all men should stay out of women business because that's women business, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna have no win. Your comments probably looking crazy from just saying stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of women business. Women, women are strong right now. We should uplift our women and don't say what we, they, they can and can't do. You know how long women been told they can't do something or they shouldn't do this or been blackballed out of entertainment and just and in the whole world? So I stay out of female stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got kids too, but yeah. at the same time, 
It's entertainment. You can go on YouTube and see people shoot videos with guns and talk about killing them. We can't really be like judgmental on certain things and then certain things we don't. All right, so you guys just heard what Offset had to say. So, of course, Snoop took to social media to kind of address all the haters and the backlash that he was receiving. And so this is what Snoop Dogg had to say. He says, stop with the bullshit press. I love Cardi B and Meg's music, period, point blank. And, and they know I'm in full support of the female MC movement. So stop trying to make me a hater. U-F-D-H-B. I guess that stands for you funky doghead bitch, like he called Gail King. Um, let's see. Then he goes on to say, now carry on before you get this L-A-D. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means, L-A dick. Not really sure, okay? He says that song is six times platinum. Talk about that. So that is what he posted, and no one cared. Um, because it's just the whole situation is a hot mess. Now, let me take a lot of y'all down memory lane because a lot of folks are saying, hey, you know, he's saying a lot of truth. People are just being sensitive and things like that. You know, and let's keep it real. I'm not the biggest fan of WAP. You know what I'm saying? The song was okay. You know, I've heard it throughout the summer and things like that. But I mean, is it like a song that I just play as I'm cleaning or walking around my house? No, I have to be in the right environment. If the clubs ever open back up and they play WAP, I'm here for it. But it's not something I just play and listen to in my home. But, you know, to each its own. The song definitely made numbers. Now, what Snoop needs to do is realize that if he's disappointed and he wants these young girls to slow down, he needs to realize that he is one of the forefathers who planted the seeds for how these young girls are behaving. OK, a lot of people forget, you know, because now Snoop is old and now he wants to be the grandfatherly voice of hip hop. A lot of folks forget that Snoop was about that fuckery all through his career. OK, it's funny that so many men like him and CeeLo have so much to say about WAP. And WAP being derogatory and, you know, WAP, you know, y'all girls need to slow down. Y'all are doing too much. If I was younger, I'd probably be on the remix, but it's just too much for my spirit. OK, but when you came into the game, you were literally rapping about beating a murder case. You were literally, you know, making videos where you sold your soul to the devil. Like how soon we forget. I think that's way more low vibrational than these two talking about their damn wet coochies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I also find funny? I also feel like that was kind of a dog whistle for his daughter because he also spoke on his 21 year old daughter, Chuck. And um, he was saying that, you know, his daughter's from this era. And so maybe she's doing the WAP. But, you know, and he can't be mad at her because it's her generation. Um, I kind of feel like that was a dog whistle towards her because, as we know, she's been trying to break into the music business forever. And she dropped a music video a few months ago. And a lot of people were really shocked by it. Um, the music video is called Come and See. And in there, she's talking about coming first. And she's basically in there naked or at least topless. She may have bottoms on, but she's basically topless. And, you know, she's selling a lot of sex in this video. So let me go ahead and share this with you. all Y'all check this out. Me, I never care long as I come first. You come on time, I refer. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Chalk, you know, so I feel like he might have been trying to let her know, like, you don't have to go that route. You don't, you know, like your daddy's rich. You ain't got to be out here twerking and talking about your WAP, you know, but unfortunately, a lot of people did not grow up with the silver spoon in their mouth like Snoop Dogg's kids. So this is what I find funny about the whole situation is that now he wants to be super woke and super conscious. But like I was saying, he's also the same man who ushered in the pimping culture. OK, for years, this man ran with Don Magic Juan, who was a certified pimp. He made pimping cool. He brought it into the mainstream. There were old videos with Adam Carolla and them hanging out with Snoop Dogg and, and Bishop Don Juan. I mean, it was crazy. Y'all can go ahead and check out this clip here. What's the significance of the green and gold? Well, see, green is for the money and gold is for the honey. See, them are prosperity colors. I but see. come on, I'm going to show y'all something else. Right. When you get your threads, yeah. you got to look like this. Look, hey, look. at that. Look, look at it. Adam's shoes. Take a look at this. Yeah, and this will work. This right? is unacceptable. Now, isn't that a big change? This is yeah, going to be a great This looks like a pool table. But hold on. I'm yeah. going to be I'm gonna be on my feet all night, <laughs> prowling bitches. No. You know, it's not like you sure? I see smoke. Let's investigate that smoke. I don't cook around here. What's? Oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> All right, y'all just saw that clip. And then on top of that, let's also not forget that when um, Bishop Don Juan um, also would do like the pimp ball, he would have a pimp ball every year. And this was a real thing where pimps from all over the country come together and, you know, they, they vote on who has the baddest hoes and who's dressed like the, you know, who's dressed the baddest and all that stuff. And one year Snoop Dogg actually won because why? He actually got involved in the pimping game. He was pimping women, a.k.a. hoes, as he's like to call it. This was a man who made it in the industry, who was a certified millionaire, well-known rapper, family, and most of all, he was married. And this man left all of that to go pimp for two years. Even had the nerve to brag about it and talk about it with Vlad TV. You know the Vlad that y'all keep calling a culture vulture. Your fave was on his show bragging about pimping women y'all go ahead and check this out we know we here tonight for the players ball yeah. with who Snoop Dogg they gonna give me a Woody award for being the player of the year and they gonna give my girls a award for being the best dressed up in this motherfucker tonight give me my motherfucking Woody award we want our shit good looking that's mine good looking cuz that's my Woody Award. Put that up, Loco. Put that up on the mantle with my Soul Train Award, my American Music Award, and all that other good shit. Pimps up! The one thing he said, because you know, in the in your movie, you mentioned the whole, the, you know, how you actually got into pimping and stuff like that. And the one thing that I talked to Bishop was that, you know, he said a lot of people thought that he pushed you into that, but in fact, he was saying how he told you to go back with your wife. Him, him, Minister Seymour, and a couple of other real pimps kept it 100. They, they didn't want that for me, but I wanted that. I was like, I was a kid to, to do that, to really say, man, I'm finna really jump off into this pimping shit. These bitches really like me, and I really feel like I got the pimping in me. So, with disrespect to my wife, and my everything, I went on the pimping binge for about two years straight. Like for real. Real hoes, real pimping. But I fell in love with a bitch. That's why I had to do a movie called Bossing Up. Because the first rule of pimping is thou shall not love a hoe. And I fell in love with a hoe which was compelling because I wasn't the only pimp and I wasn't the last pimp to fall in love with a hoe. I was just the first pimp to tell a story of a pimp falling in love with a hoe. All right, so you guys just saw those videos. So like I said, it's very hypocritical for Snoop to now get on his pedestal in 2020 and say that, you know, he's not really feeling it. These girls need to slow down. They're doing a lot. You know, granted, he didn't come out and just flat out disrespect them or say the song was trash. But the fact that he's trying to give fatherly advice and he's saying, you know, well, when I was younger, maybe I'd have rock with it. But now my old age, this is just too much. But again, it's so funny how a lot of these dudes perpetuated the worst of the worst in the community, benefited from it. Like I spoke yesterday on the live stream, they come into the game and they're talking about just the most low vibrational shit, killing other people, selling drugs, you know, pimping, you know, doing all types of crazy stuff. And then once they've made their money, now they want to be woke and preach to the choir. You, you can't do that. I'm not buying it. Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.